Ladies and gentlemen, Tati Vance here, and welcome to a news update. Starting with the burn down, there's one bug left. It's normally with most of these things in development, it's that last 1% is the hardest bit to get over the line. I'm making the assumption that that bug could actually be completed now because that was last week anyway. And they've had a few days this week to probably iron out that bug anyway. So what does that mean for us? It might be worth me explaining what the Avocati is. The Avocati is a group of testers that have already been selected. They were selected a while ago. They were selected on the basis for their contribution in the testing and gameplay aspect. And also the Avocati is under an NDA, so none of the information that is seen can be recorded or displayed. The plan for Star Citizen's rollout of 3.0 starts with the Avocati's and then moves on to PTU. PTU is a separate build from the live build that is optionally downloaded by yourself so you don't have to opt in to play on the PTU. You can wait until it goes to live. They normally roll the numbers out staggered on each group. So for Avocati, they might start by rolling out to a small amount of people just to do a basic penetration test to make sure something doesn't instantly fall over and then roll that out to the rest of the Avocati testers. Once that then passes the Avocati test process and gets to a point where it's running stable and they're content and moving to the PTU, it goes to a wider test. Main difference between the two, the Avocati test is going to be, let's just say, a smaller group of people and then the PTU will roll out in a staggered phase, starting with thousands, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000. You get the idea, until the point where PTU is open just to everyone. And then once that is in a form where it's solid, it then goes live. Now going live, there's no staggered rollout. At that point, the PTU has actually tested and make sure that there shouldn't be any major issues going direct to live. Now it's optional for you when you choose to sort of take part. Now clearly, if you're not an Avocati, then uh, you can't take part in that process. But for the Avocatis, you can sort of expect there's going to be a lot more bugs for them. So if you're looking to sort of jump into 3.0 and you're not really interested in bugs and issue of reporting and that sort of thing then maybe wait either until mid to late sort of PTU build or maybe even wait until live. I would imagine most people are going to be sort of downloading and, and logging in immediately no matter where they are in the stage. What's going to make a real big difference as well in this 3.0 build? In previous builds what happens is once the actual build's been pushed and you download it and let's just say it's 42 gig, 45 gig, you download it, you install it. Now, because they didn't sort of have like a micro patcher that could go into the binaries and update small parts of it, the majority of the time it was a case of pretty much downloading 20, 30 gig, in some cases the whole game again. Now, what this does is this affects the testing process because now what you're doing is you're limiting the availability to the full audience. You know, some people might have a very, very small internet connection or might have a data cap. With 3.0, it will have a micro patcher, a patch system where they can patch it in a very, very small way, megs rather than sort of gigs, which will make a massive difference to the update process as well for Star Citizen. And also, it will obviously reduce a lot of bandwidth issues and also data uses and throughput on their AWS solution as well. I'm expecting them to announce on Thursday that it's going live to Avocati, or maybe at that point it could even have gone live, high possibility. Keep in mind the Avocati sort of testers, it will be pushed to them with some bugs, clearly. There are sort of very low priority bugs there that are not game breaking. The whole purpose of the Avocati testers is really just to sort of early sort of load testing and also uh, just to have a wider spectrum and have a bigger group of people pulling in and reporting bugs. At any point throughout the process from Avocati to PTU and also live as well, there's something called the Issue Council. It's on the homepage in the top navigation for the RSI site for Star Citizen, where you can go on there, search or create new bugs. If they consider later on down the line adding more people to the Avocati process, they will use this matrix to help them select individuals as well. So it's definitely worthwhile doing that if you want to be a tester and you want to sort of contribute towards the development of the game. If they get the Avocati build done soon, I'm only guessing here, but there's a possibility that they could even maybe even start 
a very, very small PTU push around the 27th or maybe even the week after, so that'd be brilliant. I suppose that all depends on how the Avocati testers get in that first phase. On to other news, we have seen a new ship come into play and three variants, the X1. It comes in three variants, the X1, the X1 Velocity and the X1 Force. I'll leave a link in the description so you can have a look at the physical roles and what they do. It's basically another very similar to sort of like the space bikes and there's a few variants there for you to take a look at as well. They are going all out on the old bikes, I must admit. I thought the first one when they did it, I thought that I was going to be a couple of them, but it looks like they're going to be doing quite a few of these. A good thing, I guess, because hopefully it'll pull in a lot more sort of gameplay into these bikes later on down the line as well. And now we're getting closer to 3.0. For the first time today, I thought about what am I actually going to do when I download it, click on play, what's the first thing I'm going to do? And I think I'm probably going to go and do a mission purely on the basis that I hope the mission leads me into some of the content that maybe the game wants me to see. Definitely be the first thing I'm going to do. For my ship selection, depending on the mission I get, i.e. if it's obviously it's a cargo one, I have to take a cargo ship, but I'll probably take something small and quick so I can zip around, something with a, a canopy I can get in and out very quickly so I can experience all the new content. Super excited about it, I can't wait. So let me know in the comments, guys, what's the first thing you're going to do when you download and you get in game what ship are you going to pick as well so that's it from me guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe bye now